Praise the Lord. This is the day the Lord has made, a day of joy, a day of rejoicing. Anywhere you are this new month, lift up your voice, lift up your hand, give Him praise. Thank Him for the gift of life. Thank Him for bringing you to the month of August. Give God all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. What's the Lord saying to us this month of August? Our anchor scripture will be taken from the book of Genesis, chapter 50, verse 25 to 26. Genesis 50, 25 to 26. And Joseph took an oath of the children of Israel, saying, God will surely visit you. And he made a profound statement. And you shall carry up my bone from thence. God will surely visit you. And you shall carry up my bones from thence. I'm going to read verse 26. So Joseph died being 110 years old and they embalmed him in a coffin in Egypt. Joseph died at the age of 110. With a profound statement in verse 25, God will surely visit you. This month is a special month. Theology in the Word of God. We all know that Israel spent 430 years in slavery. Assume with me that the slavery of Israel started when Joseph moved into Egypt. His family joined him in Egypt. The father, his brother, his brethren, and the captivity of Israel started from that point. We learned that Joseph lived 110. So 110 in slavery. Let us assume for the purpose of theology and analysis this month that Joseph was 20 when he moved into Egypt. The dot 20 for 110, 90. It means at the point of Joseph's death, Israel already spent 90 years in slavery. If you continue in Exodus chapter 12, Exodus 12, 41, they left Egypt after 430 years. But something amazing, in Exodus 13, 19, we read that Moses carried the bones of Joseph as Joseph has demanded. In Genesis 50, 25, and 26, Joseph made a demand. He made Israel to swan an oath. When you are leaving Egypt, please note, God will surely visit you. And the analysis I did from the point he made that statement to the point they left is about 340 years. All you need to do is to deduct 90 from 430 years. That gives you 340 years. A man spoke 340 years and somebody who was not born in the name of Moses. Moses lived 120 years. Moses began his rescue mission of Israel at the age of 80. At the point Joseph made that statement, Moses was not born. This is 260 years before Moses was born. But we read in Exodus 13, Moses took the bone of Joseph with him. What am I saying this month? This month, I declare to every member of this commission, the Lord will surely visit you. I declare this month as our month of divine visitation. God will visit you this month. Words spoken over you, 20 years, 30 years, last year, beginning of this year, since this year began, every word that has gone ahead of you, this is your month of divine visitation. This month of August, the Lord will surely visit you. I prophesy this month, everywhere you go, favor, honor, glory. Somebody this month, the same way the host of Israel left Egypt, you will leave Egypt. It doesn't matter how many years you have spent in slavery. This month of August, you are leaving Egypt in the name of Jesus. As you go this month, I bless you with the blessings of the Lord. I bless you with increase. I bless you with progress. 
I bless you with peace of mind. This month is going to bring you joy, bring you harvest, bring you plenty. In the name of Jesus. This month of August, expect something great. Expect something wonderful. In the precious name of Jesus. God bless you. Happy New Month.